Did you hear that? It sounds like there's something in the bushes. Rawr. Rawr. What could it be? Is it a bear? Rawr. Rawr. Stay calm and don't be scared. He's just a little bear. See? That little bear's just as scared of you as you are of him. Oh, someone needs help in Rainbow Village. Hurry, Chaku. Time to go. They need us in Rainbow Village. Ready, Chaku? Mm. Rainbow Village, here we come. Rainbow Ruby, Choco, I'm so glad to see you. <laughs> Hi, Mayor Ling Ling. Sounds like you could Ooh. use some help. Indeed I could. Our friends were really looking forward to going camping today. But now it looks like the trip is off for good. Oh, no. Why? Something in Rainbow Forest is giving everyone a terrible fright. <laughs> No way are we going back into a haunted forest full of scary monsters! I mean, I love monsters as much as the next rabbit, but what if they love rabbits too? Like for lunch! It's all right, Thunderbell. Chaco and I are here to help. What did you see? See? Um, not much. Well, we heard something. It was making strange, scary noises. <laughs> It's all right, Chaco. It's just Thunderbell being Thunderbell. <laughs> Gina, tell me exactly what happened. Well, we were hiking in Rainbow Forest, heading for Firefly Hollow, where the marshmallow bush grows. Sure is dark in here. Maybe oh. I can help. <laughs> Thanks, Ellie. Oh, much better. I don't know what we'd do without you. Oh, that's so sweet of you. But I'm just doing my job. Let's get moving, campers! Last one to Firefly Hollow has to clean up camp when we leave. Wait for us, Thunderbell. <laughs> what was that? It doesn't sound very happy. Ah! Oh! The monster! There's a monster after me! A dozen monsters! Oh no! I lost my backpack! Whoa! Oh. What if monsters are eating all my snacks? Shh! <gasps> Bell, I don't see any <gasps> monsters. Wait, hmm? what's that? <laughs> so we came straight home and called you. My dad told me that strange noises can be scary if you don't know it's making them. But whatever's making those noises, we're going to find out. Right, Choco? Let's see. I'll need to find our way through a dark forest and learn about things that live there. Luckily, I have some helpful things in my handy rainbow roller. How can I help? What do I need to do this job today? How can I help? What do I need to save the day? by being a forest ranger. That's just the right job to help find out what's making that noise and keep things safe in Rainbow Forest. I've got a flashlight to see in the dark and binoculars for seeing far away. Huh? Whoa! <laughs> I just saw a Choco monster. <laughs> hmm. Come on, troops. Time to hit the trail. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, sorry. Sorry, Ellie. Careful, Thunderbell. I I thought I saw something moving in the b b bushes over there. Huh? I don't see anything. I don't either. <laughs> <laughs> didn't anyone hear it? Maybe it's a, a, a monster. 
careful, Thunderbell. We don't want to scare anyone. Come on, troops. We need to get our courage back and build up our morale. So I'm going to teach you a hiking song my dad taught me on our first camping trip. Oh, the little green frog hopped down the trail, down the trail, down the trail. Oh, the little green frog hopped down the trail. Hop, hop, hop. Huh? The monsters ate my treats! Uh, maybe I'll be next. Are you sure you didn't stop for a snack, Thunderbell? Well, maybe I had just one. Or maybe two. <laughs> but then I heard that horrible noise. <laughs> huh? Oh, huh? <laughs> Don't be scared. A noise can't hurt you, even if it is kind of weird. Let's follow this trail and find out what's making that weird noise. Whoa. How about that? The trail led us right to the camping site. Let the camping begin! Okay, we got that. While you junior rangers get the camp ready, I'm going to secure a campsite. That's ranger talk for have a look around and make sure it's safe. Oh, I'll go with you, Ruby. Um, me too. You'll need my light. Uh, I'd go along to protect you, but uh, <clears throat> someone needs to stay behind and put up the camping tent. Besides, it looks like Choco is all the protection you'll need. <laughs> Thanks, Choco. Mm. Ah, the dead got me! It's trying to eat me! <laughs> Ruby needs my help. It's better than staying here alone. Uh, something's coming for us. Who goes there? <laughs> yeah! oh, 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 I, oh, I thought I'd lost you. <laughs> thought maybe you could use some extra help. Good idea, Thunderbell. Let's everyone hold hands. That way, no one will get lost. <laughs> from inside that log. That's it. I'm gonna find out what's making that noise. Show yourself, mystery beast! Huh? <laughs> Thanks, Choco. Maybe it's trying to tell us something. <gasps> like, there's a, a monster around. It's Chirpy. Mr. Sloth's little buddy. Nothing to be scared of. Chirpy's our friend. <laughs> she wants you to follow her. <laughs> Mr. Sloth? Is that you? <gasps> it is Mr. Sloth. The log was making his voice sound extra loud and scary. Do you think he's stuck? Oh, my. I believe he is. Don't worry, Mr. Sloth. We'll get you out. There never was a monster. It was just Mr. Sloth. We saved him. <laughs> I was sound asleep. Snoring, huh? I bet that's what Thunderbell heard. I woke up and my nose led me to delicious snacks. So it was you who ate my goodies? No, the puppies got there first. Puppies? I should have known. Well, at least they weren't monsters. I followed the puppies into that hollow log. That's how I got stuck. You are right, Rainbow Ruby. The scariest stuff is the stuff we imagine. All thanks to you, Rainbow Ruby. Thanks, thanks 
you rainbow ruby, you really saved the day. You came along and helped us in your very special way. Whenever there's a problem, we can count on you. You're a super friend and a super helper too. Thank you, Rainbow Ruby. Good night. does take practice. What do you think, Ruby? She's beautiful, Dad. She's perfect. <laughs> Thanks, Ruby. Let's see how your doll is coming along. Um, mine's not ready yet. It's not quite perfect. You know, Ruby, there's no right way to make a doll. And it doesn't have to be perfect to be beautiful. I just remembered I left the windows open in my room. I better go shut them or my dolls might get cold. Be sure and finish that doll. You're off to a great start. Mm-hmm. I will, Dad. Thanks. Oops. I forgot to wait for the glue to dry. Guess I'll try gluing her smile on again later. Bye, Dad. <laughs> I wonder what's happening in Rainbow Village. They must really need our help. Hop on, Chaco. Ready, Chaco? Rainbow Village, here we come. Good afternoon, Rainbow Ruby. Chaco, I'm so glad you could come. Actually, today I called you here because we've been working on a very special show, and we'd love for you to see it. Sounds great. We love a good show, don't we, Chaco? Excellent. Right this way. Welcome to rehearsal for Princess Kiki's first Rainbow Village Ballet Show. Whoa. The whole village is so excited. Tonight is opening night. for hours every day to make every move perfect. Ah. And now for the grand finale. Ah. Yeah. <gasps> <gasps> Princess Kiki, <gasps> are you all right? <laughs> I'm fine. Just a little stumble. <gasps> oh, goodness. I'm afraid I can't stand up. Let's take a look. Looks like you've got a crack in your china leg. like yours to dry. Oh, I so wanted to make everyone in Rainbow Village happy with my dancing. I know. Send my royal messenger to spread word through the village that the show will be delayed until the glue is dry. Eight minutes till showtime! Oh my, oh my. I'm afraid. 
afraid it's too late to reschedule. Everybody's already on their way. What if I help you dance, Princess Kiki? You can hold on to me. Why, I suppose we could try. Uh, 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 it's no use, Rainbow Ruby. I can't dance. Oh, I don't want to disappoint everyone. <clears throat> Seven and a half minutes till showtime. How do we keep the audience happy even though Princess Kiki won't be dancing? We need to save the show somehow. Yes, Rainbow Ruby. The show must go on. Hmm. I'll need some things to help me entertain the audience. Luckily, I have some helpful things in my Rainbow Roller. How can I help? What do I need to do this job today? How can I help? What do I need to save the day? I can help by being a ballerina. I'll dance for Kiki so they don't have to cancel the show. I have a ballerina tutu and point shoes so I can dance on my tiptoes like ballerinas do. And I have a crown so I look like a princess. Perfect, Rainbow Ruby. You can dance instead of me. I'm not a real ballerina like you, but I'll try my best. aren't looking quite like Princess Kiki's, are they, Choco? Just a little bit higher. Don't forget to point your toes. Can you straighten your leg, Rainbow Ruby? Ouch! Oh, I'll say, Choco, ballet is much harder than it looks. The audience is arriving! Performance starts in five minutes! I sure wish I had more time to practice. It's okay, Rainbow Ruby. Just try your best. Mm-hmm. Shall I help you to your seat? Why, thank you, Ling Ling. Hmm. Huh? Well, Choco, here goes me trying.
Princess Kiki, like you said, the show must go on. Thank you, Rainbow Ruby. You really saved the day. You came along and helped us in your very special way. Whenever there's a problem, we can count on you. You're a super friend and a super helper, too. Thank you, Rainbow Ruby. All dry and ready for finishing touches. Does this mean you're not giving up on making your doll? Give up? No way, Dad. My doll may not be perfect, but that's okay. It's going to be Ruby style, and that's all right with me. <laughs> <laughs> Zoom! Zoom! <sighs> huh? Whoa, it's late. Time for bed. Good night, Choco. Sweet dreams. It sure is dark in here tonight. Darker than I like it. Why is it so dark? Oh, my star nightlight isn't on. No wonder it's so dark in here. Huh? It's not working. It's so late. I'll ask Dad to fix it tomorrow. Huh? They must need us in Rainbow Village, Choco. Village is just as dark as my room. The stars sure look pretty. Thank you for coming so quickly, Rainbow huh? Ruby. And so late. I'm here to help. I just hope I can see well enough to help. You have a much easier time seeing in Ellie's barn. We have a bright situation going on there. Come on, I'll show you. away from home on an adventure and got lost in the dark. They saw Ellie's glowing tummy and came here. <laughs> Come back here, little stars. <laughs> I didn't know stars were so small. Well, there are grown-up stars and baby stars. These three are babies. Ah, their parents must be really worried about them. <laughs> Glad you visited, but it's time to go home. Do you know how to find your way home? Can you help Rainbow Ruby? They can't stay here forever. Stars should be in the sky. I'll do my best, <laughs> Ling Ling. Hmm. I need to be brave and adventurous and travel up to the stars to help you get back where you belong. I have an idea that might work. And luckily, I have some helpful things in my rainbow roller. How can I help? What do I need to do this job today? How can I help? What do I need to save the day? I can help by being an astronaut. A blast off into outer space and bring the little lost stars home. I've got my space 
helmet that astronauts wear. When I ride my jetpack out of the rocket, I'll attach it to the rocket with these ropes so I won't float away. I have a wrist communicator to stay in touch with Rainbow Village. This map of the stars will help me find my way around. And the telescope will let me see things far away. <gasps> huh? Huh? Chaka will make a fine co-pilot. Follow me, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for staying down here, Ling Ling. I'll need somebody on the ground to talk to if we need help. Good luck, Rainbow Ruby. I'll be standing by. <laughs> Ready for a liftoff, Ling Ling. All clear. <laughs> We're out of here. Three, two, one. You'll be home in no time, little stars. We've been traveling for a while. We must be close. Hmm. Let's see here. Looks like if we fly a bit higher, then go to the left, we'll get to the Milky Way, where all the stars live. Won't be long now, little stars. <laughs> <laughs> detour left me all turned around. Does anything look familiar to you? <laughs> Thanks, Chaco. I see it. Doesn't look like stars. Can you tell what it is? <laughs> You're right. It does look like Mr. Moon. Maybe he can give us directions. Mr. Moon? Oh, Mr. Moon. Wake up, Mr. Moon. <sighs> no? Sorry to wake you up, but we're trying to find the Milky Way. Could you point us in the right direction? Uh huh. Oh, hi, little stars. How about that? They know Mr. Moon. Hmm, the Milky Way. Hmm. It's up there. Up there? Uh-huh. Thank you, Mr. Moon. Thank you. Have a safe trip. I'm pretty sure we're going in the right direction. Look, on your left. Huh? Oh, they're so lovely. Look how they twinkle. I didn't know there were so many of them. Neither did I. Little stars. 
I'm gonna miss you, little stars. Me too. Remember, all you have to do is look up into the sky at night and you'll see them twinkling. They won't seem so far away. <laughs> Everybody inside for takeoff! <laughs> Rainbow Ruby, a brilliant job as usual. Thanks, Ling Ling. Operation Return the Stars Home was a real blast. <laughs> Thank you, Rainbow Ruby. You really saved the day. You came along and helped us in your very special way. Whenever there's a problem, we can count on you. You're a super friend and a super helper, too. Thank you, Rainbow Ruby. <laughs> Let's see if we can find your new star friends out there. Look, Choco, over there. There's one winking at us. And there's Mr. Moon. Oh, and another one. <laughs> Maybe some more red here. Or blue. Hmm. No. How about green? Look, I want. <laughs> huh? <laughs> That's very creative, Ruby. Thanks, Mom. Huh? What's in the box? Oh, I was looking through my old jewelry box and see what I found. Wow! It belonged to your great grandmother, Ruby. We oh. named you after her. Look how it shimmers in the light. It's so beautiful. Why don't you wear it all the time? Oh, the pin on the back is broken. That's why I keep it safe in this case. I'll get it fixed someday. Huh? Oh, someone's at the door. I better get that. Have fun with those ribbons. Mwah. Thanks, Mom. Huh? <laughs> Hurry, Choco. Looks like they need us in Rainbow Village. Ready, Choco? Rainbow Village, here we come! It could have happened to anyone. <laughs> Cheer up, Princess Kiki. We'll find a new one for you. But you can't, Thunderbell. It was the only one like it. And now I've broken it. Why was I so clumsy? Oh, Rainbow Ruby. We're oh, so huh? glad you're here. Huh? As you can see, there's been a terrible accident. What happened? Oh. Huh? Prince Frederick sent me this beautiful friendship gem. I was showing it to my friends. Frederick's letter said it shimmers in a most amazing way. <gasps> oh, oh, can I hold it? Can I, can I, huh? Gosh, I don't think that's a good idea. Huh? Frederick sent the jewel to me. <laughs> it's okay. I'll be careful. Mm. <laughs> oh. If 
I can't put Kiki's gem back like it was, huh? maybe I can make it into something different. I just need to think about it in a whole new way. Luckily, I have some help thanks to my rainbow roller. by being a jewelry designer. I'll use this sketch pad to draw some designs. My light up magnifier will help me see the gem up close. This chisel and mallet will help me shape the metal for the jewelry setting. And I have a crimper and pliers to put the jewelry pieces together. Will it shimmer the way Frederick said it would? I hope so, but there's only one way to find out. Come on, Choco, let's head over to the design studio and get to work. I think something like this. What do you think, Choco? Ooh. Huh. Great. I'll get right to work. will be here any minute. Well, Kiki, what do you think of this? <laughs> oh, it's ah. beautiful, Rainbow Ruby. Ah. Ooh, a perfect ring for a princess. Oh? Hmm, but something's not quite right. Tell me, what is it? It's just... It's so sad that we couldn't use those gems, too. Do you think you could make some jewelry that uses all of the gems? Okay, I'll try. Mallet and chisel, please, Choco. Thank you. Pliers. Gem Shimmer. happened. This morning I was following a very rare butterfly and wasn't watching where I was going. I tripped and my glasses fell into the royal fountain. Princess Kiki! Huh? <laughs> Hi, Prince Frederick. 
Kiki, I think I figured out how to make the gem shimmer. But in order for that to happen, you need to share the gem pieces with your friends. Will you share the gem pieces, Kiki? Hmm. Certainly, Rainbow Ruby. Great. Take one, everybody, and hold it in the sunlight. shine even brighter. Whoa, I had no idea it did that. The friendship gem is even more special than I thought. And Rainbow Ruby, you are one very special friend. And you've made me one very happy princess. Thank you, Rainbow Ruby, you really saved the day. You came along and helped us in your very special way. Whenever there's a problem, What do you have there, Ruby? I made something for you. Hmm? A rainbow ribbon to hold your brooch. Huh? Now it's a necklace, and you huh? can wear it and shine all the time. Wow. Oh, Ruby, I love it. And I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you, Choco? Rawr! 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 Shh! Phew! Coast is clear. You're the only bear I want to see in here. <gasps> Hurry, Choco! Whoops! I'll fix that later. Looks like we're needed in Rainbow Village. Uh. <laughs> Ready, Choco? It seems Gina's had a bit of an accident last night. Accident? Are you okay, Gina? I'm fine, but Felicia's fairy house isn't. It's a disaster! This sounds serious. If you show me what happened, I'll see how I can help. Huh? <gasps> uh, what happened to Felicia's house? The rainbow fog was so thick last night when I was flying over the forest, I could barely see past my sail. Next thing I know, boom! Oh, I'm glad Felicia wasn't home and nobody got hurt. But she's gonna be back any minute, and she's going to be so mad. Hmm. Everyone makes mistakes. You just need to apologize. Hmm? Besides, Felicia might not be as upset as you think. Ah! My house! Uh, uh, it's ruined! Felicia, I'm really sorry. What am I supposed to do without my house? My wings need to stay dry. I can't fly if they get wet. And how am I ever going to stay warm? Fairies get cold easily, you know. And where will I sleep? And, and... Worst day ever! Don't worry, Felicia. I'm sure I can figure something out. Hmm. In order to help Felicia, I need to be a good listener so I can understand what kind of house she wants. And I'll use my imagination to create it. Luckily, I have some helpful things in my rainbow roller. Architects design buildings and make sure they get made according
according to their plans. I'm going to design a new house for Felicia. I'll use this big roll of paper to draw a plan for Felicia's new house. This ruler and compass will help me measure and draw straight and curved lines. This special table is big enough for me to draw on my big paper. And my hard hat will keep my head safe when I'm on the construction site. Yeah! Thanks, Rainbow Ruby. But how can there be a construction site if we don't have any construction workers to build my house? <gasps> huh? Good idea, Choco. I bet Thunderbell and Mr. Sloth would love to build <laughs> Felicia's new house. They're over in Mr. Sloth's tree. I'll go get them. <laughs> the first step is to draw a picture of the kind of house you want, Felicia. Uh. You know, since you are designing a new house, do you think you could make it bigger? And with a wide front door, so I don't have to fold up my wings every time I come in and out? You got it. <laughs> this drawing will be a plan to show construction workers how to build it just right. What do you think of this? <gasps> Whoops! <laughs> You're a choco roll. It's like a map of your house, looking down at the inside. See? Here's your bigger living room. And this is your bigger bedroom. And here's your wide front door, just like you wanted. Oh, thank you, Rainbow Ruby. I can't wait to have my house back. <laughs> then let's get started. would make it perfect. A special room for practicing my magic. Ah! And can we make it purple? I've always wanted a purple house. <gasps> oh. huh. Huh. You got it, Felicia. This is going to be a house makes me start to think of all kinds of new house ideas. I'd love a castle house with a golden balcony. That would be really nice. And how about a windmill like Ellie's? And oh, a clock, like the one in Town Square. Clocks are good, and a door shaped like fairy wings. That's not a problem, is it? You got it. I can't stop fluttering. Okay. You 
can look now. <laughs> Don't cry, Felicia. What's wrong? I'm not crying. It's just... It's just so perfect. It's better than perfect. It's... It's... your wings. And it's purple. There is one more thing that's different. You're up, fireflies. Wow. Oh. Now everyone will be able to see your house, even in rainbow fog. Mm. Oh. Alicia, I'm so sorry. It was me who crashed into your house and made it fall. Oh, I know that. I ran into Ling Ling on the way here and he told me everything. And you're not mad? How can I be mad? I have an amazing new house built by my amazing friends. I'm the luckiest fairy in the whole <laughs> world. <laughs> Thank you, Rainbow Ruby. You really saved the day. You came along and helped us in your very special oh, way. Yeah. Whenever there's a problem, Rainbow Ruby. Just like new. Plus, Mom found us another old box. So the best part is... There's room for all of us. <laughs> I have plenty of fruit left over. What should we do with it? Hmm. How about juggling? juggling in my room. Okay, sweetie. <gasps> uh. Hurry, Choco. Looks like they need our help in Rainbow Village. <laughs> Ready, Choco? Are here. We have a problem with my sorbet machine. Sorbet machine. <sighs> I brought it back from my latest adventure to make rainbow sorbet for everyone in Rainbow Village. Yum! I love sorbet. <sighs> it's like ice cream but made with real fruit. Yellow is bananas, green is grapes, blue is blueberries. And red, strawberries? Yes, but that's the problem. Huh? It's not just strawberries in there, so I can't make the strawberry sorbet. Oh my, oh my. Somehow all of the mm. strawberry decorations wound up in the container. Hmm. I wonder how that happened. Mix all the reds! <laughs> reds, reds, all the reds! Huh? Hmm. <gasps> oh, no! <gasps> Jessie, no! <laughs> Jessie makes game! Mix all the reds! What if we pick everything out one by one? That would take too long. I promise sorbet to everyone soon. Mix all the reds. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yes, Mr. Lulu. I know you need the handle back. I'm working on it. <laughs> 
machine handle, so I had to borrow one from Mr. Lulu. Oh, Rainbow Ruby, I need help fast! Hmm. To help Gina make her store big quickly, I'll have to be clever and careful. I need to find a way to separate the strawberries from all the other red objects that don't belong in her sorbet. Luckily, I have some helpful things in my rainbow will protect my eyes and clothes. My science kit has everything I might need for a science experiment. And this clipboard will help me keep track of the experiment results. Yeah! <laughs> the Rainbow Village Restaurant Kitchen can be our science lab. Now let's do some science. <laughs> <laughs> We need to separate all these things from the strawberries. Small berries, metal strawberry decorations, and red marbles. Let's experiment to find the fastest way to do it. Hmm? Choco, no! <gasps> that small berry's a chortle berry. Eat one and you laugh for an hour. Well, hello, Rainbow Ruby. <laughs> Hi, Ellie. Jessie said you were here, so I thought I'd pop in and say hello. Gina, I'm really looking forward to the sorbet you promised. Uh, <laughs> it's going to be uh, delicious! <laughs> 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 Hmm. These chortleberries are much smaller than the strawberries. See? They go through the cup handle, but the strawberries are too big. Hmm. How can we separate lots of them fast? Aha! Hmm. Hey! This net might be just the thing to keep the strawberries in and the chortleberries out. Yeah! <laughs> Chortleberries separated. One down, two to go. The real strawberries and the decorations are the same size. How can we separate them? Seems like it's made of metal. Maybe a magnet could be useful. A magnet attracts things made of metal. <laughs> See? The real strawberries aren't metal, so the magnet doesn't stick. Neither do the marbles. They're made of glass. Now let's see if the magnet attracts the strawberry decorations. We should probably give these decorations back to Ling Ling. He'll want to put them up in time for your sorbet party. <laughs> Here, Ling Ling, these are all the decorations you were missing. Thank you, Rainbow Ruby. We'll hang them up. Everyone's awfully excited for Gina's sorbet. <laughs> <laughs> to disappoint everyone? Not if I can help. Back to the lab! Strawberries and red marbles. Same size, so the net won't work. And neither are made of metal, so the magnet won't work. Doomed. We're doomed! Ooh. Don't worry, Gina. We'll figure it out. 
Let's see. The marble feels heavier than a strawberry. I wonder. Marble sink. I think I know how we can separate the marbles from the strawberries. in these muddy sneakers, and I've ridden everywhere my roller skates. <laughs> it's hard to get rid of things I had so much fun wearing. I'll have to get back to these clothes and shoes later, Choco. They need us in Rainbow Village. Ready, Choco? Here we come! <laughs> Hi there, Ling Ling! Thank goodness you're here, Rainbow Ruby! What's the problem? <laughs> That's the sound of our problem. <laughs> Is that Thunderbell under there? <laughs> Thunderbell? Why are you carrying so many packages at once? <laughs> my scooter broke, so I'm doing my deliveries on foot. Phew. Oh, thanks. Walking boxes around town is slow, so I have to carry as many as I can at once. You asked for help making deliveries, Thunderbell? Mr. Sloth offered to help. <sighs> that delivery only took four hours. This one is clear across Rainbow Village. See you tomorrow. I have an 
idea? Luckily, I have some helpful things in my uh -oh. rainbow roller. I'll design a pair of shoes for Thunderbell that are really fast so he can make his deliveries on time. And really comfy so his feet don't hurt. I'll design the shoes on my sketch pad. And I'll measure his feet so the shoes fit. I have a kit full of tools and decorations to help me build them from the materials in the design studio. Oh, can the shoes look cool too? Definitely. Let's go over to the design studio and get started. <laughs> always wanted green shoes. How about something like this? Wow! These shoes look so cool! The stripes even match my ears! Whoa, wow! Thanks, Rainbow Ruby! Off for a test run! Oops! <laughs> Forgot to put my shoes on. What happened? You went so fast you wore right through the soles of your shoes. It's much easier to skid to a stop on my scooter than on my feet. Hmm, let's see. I know. A double thick rubber sole should fix that right up. Oh, oh, oh. thank you! These feel nice and bouncy. Thunderbell? My new shoes look cool and my feet don't hurt anymore, but now they're so heavy. It's hard to run fast. I'm exhausted. Must be the extra rubber on your sole that's making them so heavy. What do we have here that could help Thunderbell's cool shoes stay sturdy and strong but go faster? These will make your shoes really light and really bouncy. Bouncing and running should help you move even faster. I love bouncing! I'm gonna time how long it takes me to get to the forest and back. Thanks, Rainbow Ruby. Oh, you hoo Rainbow Ruby! <laughs> Your designer shoes has spread across the village. May I please have a pair fit for a princess? Sure, Princess Ooh. Kiki. Being a shoe designer is even more fun than I thought. My princess slippers are all made of china and gold, of course. We only have cloth and rubber. Cloth and rubber? How fun! Will all of the jewels fit? Um. We don't have any royal jewels, Princess Kiki. Good thing I brought my own. A smart princess always oh. thinks ahead. Hmm. Almost perfect. Just a few more sapphires to match my tiara. Are you sure? There's an awful lot on here already. Oh, Rainbow Ruby. A princess can never have too many jewels. Oh. <laughs> Absolutely divine! Oh no! I 
can't have royal jewels scattering all over Rainbow Village when I walk. That's okay. We can replace the heavy jewels with sequins and glitter. That way, they'll be just as shiny, but feel a lot lighter. There! Now try. Oh, they're the most beautiful shoes in the world! And they're so light! I'll just float into my royal carriage. <laughs> nice shoes, Princess! I like the shoes you made Kiki and Thunderbell, <gasps> too! Think you could design a pair of boots for me? You bet, Gina! Let me grab my sketch pad! Uh-oh! Looks like we're too low on supplies to make you a brand new pair of boots. <sighs> hmm... But we could make the boots you're wearing extra special! <gasps> Sounds like an adventure to me! What do you think? The sails match your boat, and I tied them on nice and tight so they won't come off when you do your flips. <laughs> I think I've never flipped higher in my life! They're sailtastic! Rainbow Ruby, I can't thank you enough. Everyone in Rainbow Village is admiring my new royal slippers. <laughs> These shoes got me to the forest and back even faster than my scooter! That's great, Thunderbell. Now you'll be able to deliver your packages really fast. Yeah! <gasps> packages? Oh, no! I was busy testing shoes and I forgot about them! Oh, and now I'll never get them delivered by the end of the day. Not even with these fast shoes. Don't worry, I know just the thing to do. <laughs> you should get all the packages out by sundown if you work together. Thanks for designing my shoes, Rainbow Ruby. And everybody else's. <laughs> Thank you, Rainbow Ruby. You really saved the day. You came along and helped us in your very special way. Whenever there's a problem, we can count on you. You're a super friend and a super helper, too. Thank you, Rainbow Ruby. There. Now these look pretty enough to wear to a party. Who? Huh? I don't even have to get rid of my favorite roller skates. These fit you perfectly, Choco. Mmm, <laughs> dinner smells so good. It sure does. We're lucky to have an expert chef cook our meals. And an expert dishwasher. We're a good team. <laughs> Is there anything I can help with? What about setting the table? Okay, let me get started. <gasps> um, actually, I think I need a few minutes before I get started. I forgot something in my room. Okay, we'll be down here getting ready for dinner. See you soon. Ready, Choco? Ooh. Rainbow Village, here we come! <laughs> It's a disaster. We sure could use your help. It doesn't smell like a disaster. Oh, everybody wants to try the new rainbow menu. Delicious foods in every color of the oh. rainbow. The restaurant can't keep up. As you can see, we have many frustrated customers. Hi, Rainbow Ruby. I don't know what's going on. Who 
Oh, Jesse is so hungry. We've been sitting here forever and haven't even looked at a menu. That's not good. <laughs> The Harmony sure seemed frustrated. Oh, Mayor Lingling, Ling, thank you ever so much for bringing Rainbow Ruby to be my huh? personal server. I don't think they realized there's a princess in the dining room. Restaurants usually don't have personal servers, but I'll make sure you're taken <laughs> care of. Oh, thank you. I'm so confused. I've never waited for food. Hopefully, you won't have to wait much longer. <laughs> the chefs worked so hard to create special rainbow dishes for everyone to enjoy. But no one seems to be enjoying themselves. Two blue meals, one extra meal! <laughs> Looks like Thunderbell and Mr. Sloth could use some help. Thunderbell was kind enough to fill in when our waiter got sick, and Mr. Sloth came in from the forest to help when he heard how busy his friend was. Sorry! Oh, dear. Hmm, how can I help? I need to be quick so everyone gets their food and drinks faster. And I need to be organized, neat, and friendly so people enjoy their meals and have a nice time. Luckily, I have some helpful things in my rainbow roller. How can I help? What do I need to do this job today? How can I help? What do I need to save the day? Help by being a waitress. Diners can tell me what they want to eat from the menu, and I can write down their orders on my pad. And I can serve the food from these trays fast. Hey, Rainbow Ruby, Choco, two rainbow sandwiches, or was it three? And a green pizza. Wait a minute, we're not serving pizza. <laughs> Whoa. How about Choco and I lend you a hand? <laughs> and a paw? <laughs> Thank you, Rainbow Ruby. Thanks a ton. Great idea, Choco. While I take the orders, you can take the dirty dishes off the tables. Huh? What can I get you? We'll take two red and blue parfaits. <gasps> Jesse eats pink rainbows. Coming right up. <laughs> Especially for you, Princess oh. Kiki. Oh, thank you ever so much. Why, it's pretty as a picture. <laughs> oh. What's wrong? I seem to be missing my golden knife and fork. Mm. And my crystal goblet. <laughs> I'm sorry, Princess Kiki, but the restaurant only has regular silverware and glasses. <gasps> my goodness, it works just like my gold fork. Thank you, Rainbow Ruby. Hmm. Huh? Rainbow Ruby, may I please have some royal rainbow tea? Certainly. Hmm? Not too hot, not too cold, please. Hmm. And three huh? and a half lumps of sugar, please. Oh, and the fruity dessert, please. Hmm. Whoa, I've got loads to do. I'd better move fast. Red and blue and yellow and green parfaits. <laughs> oh, sorry. Wait, that's Gina and Jessie's meal. Working out. I need a new plan. Hmm. <laughs> Those three work much better as a team, with each one doing what he's best at. <laughs> Thunderbell, I think you might be better at clearing dishes than serving them. You won't have to be quite so careful. 
Yeah, I'm not so good with careful. Mr. Sloth, you're good at serving drinks, but you could use some helping speedier. Let's see. Thunderbell, could you loan Mr. Sloth your scooter? No problemo! some help with her. She can be your special mission. Try and keep her happy. Yes! Thanks for arranging the dishes by color! Makes it easier for me to find my orders. Almost done. All I'm missing now is your fruity dessert. Oh. I would love to eat this with your fruity dessert spoon. It would be nice to have my royal teacup direct from the palace for our special customer. so much, Rainbow Ruby and Choco. <gasps> Yay, Choco! Good job with your special mission. <laughs> Take care of Princess Kiki. <laughs> Thanks for the meal, Rainbow Ruby. That was terrific. <laughs> Rainbow Ruby, you did it. You helped make the Rainbow Meal a success. Glad I could help. Thank you, Rainbow Ruby. You really saved the day. Whenever there's a problem, we can count on you. You're a super friend and a super helper, too. Thank you, Rainbow Ruby. Just in time for dinner, Ruby. And just in time to set the table. How about you sit at the table and let me be your waitress? What a lovely idea. Thanks for setting the table so beautifully. And serving it so nicely. We make a great team. We've got the chef, the dishwasher. And now we've got a waitress, too. Now let's be the eaters. <laughs> <laughs> What do I want to be? I know! I'll dress up as Ruby the Superhero! Ah! You can be a superhero too! Huh? Ah! This hat might fit you! Huh! They need us in Rainbow Village! about that, Choco. <laughs> Ready, Choco? Ooh. Rainbow Village, here we come! Hello, Rainbow Ruby. Thank you for coming. You look really worried. 
We have big troubles at Rainbow Village Theater. A new play starts tonight, but it's very difficult to understand what it's about. Let's get over to the theater and see how Chaco and I can help. Squeak, 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 squeak. <laughs> squeak. <laughs> Cut! Huh? Hmm, you don't seem very scared. Aren't you afraid for Mr. Sloth? Daisy is an angry lion, and Mr. Sloth is a tiny mouse. The lion could eat him. Oh, I thought Daisy was a cat, and Mr. Sloth was just... Mr. Sloth, squeaking. <sighs> Let's keep going. Action! <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> What's wrong? The lion could eat the bird. Bird? Ellie is a pretty flower who's trying to cheer up the angry lion. Oh! Right. <sighs> Action! <clears throat> Why are you so angry, Mr. Lion? Um, uh, excuse me? Huh? Sorry, but I'm confused again. I thought Daisy was the lion. Oops, <laughs> I keep forgetting. <laughs> Our play is so confusing. I guess I'm just not a good director. No, no. The acting and directing are great. Uh -huh. We just can't tell who's playing what, because none of you look like the role you're playing. So what do we do? The play starts in an hour. Hmm. How can I help? I need to be creative and clever to make outfits that will help my friends look like their characters in the play. Luckily, I have some helpful things in my rainbow roller. <laughs> Designer. I'll make costumes for the cast so the actors will look like their characters. I'll draw the costumes with my sketch pad and pencils. With my tape measure, I'll measure the actors so their costumes fit. I can sew the fabric with my needle and thread and sewing machine. Come on, Chaco, let's get started. It still needs something. Hmm. <laughs> Roar! I'm scared already, and Daisy's not even wearing the costume yet. are always gray. But you're not a mouse. I'm the hmm? mouse. other than lion's mane, and be right back. Climb in, Mr. Sloth. I just got a great idea. I'm going to design the costume with you already inside it. Woo. 
Eek! 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 <laughs> Next up is Thunderbell. Thunderbell? Thunderbell! Hmm, looks like Thunderbell isn't back yet. So let's do your costume now. How about a costume that looks just like this flower? I'm going to design you a costume that looks just like this flower. I feel like I belong in a garden already. <laughs> now you look and smell like a flower. Ooh. Oh, thank you, Rainbow Ruby. Where's Thunderbell? He should have been back a long time ago. Everybody huh? in their places! The play starts in five minutes! <laughs> Wake up, Thunderbell! The play's about to start! <laughs> what? Oh, I ate such a big snack, I fell asleep! Now I don't have a costume! We have to hurry, Thunderbell! Quick! What are you supposed to be? Uh, I'm not the mouse. Or, or the lion. The audience is arriving. We're so excited to see the show. That's it! I'm playing Mayor Ling Ling! Got it! Stay right there, Mayor Ling Ling, and we'll have Thunderbell ready in no time. What has you in such a bad mood? Uh -huh. um. <sighs> now that you don't have a thorn hurting you, can we all be friends? We're friends! Yeah! never would have been possible without our Rainbow Ruby. Thank you, Rainbow Ruby. You really saved the day. You came along and helped us in your very special way. Whenever there's a problem, we can count on you. You're a super friend and a super helper, too. Thank you, Rainbow Ruby. <sighs> Perfect. Just one more thing to make you look extra super. Hmm. There! Now we're Ruby and Choco, superheroes 